One of the projects I'm currently enga engaged in is looking at the landscapes which exist under the North Sea. Perhaps many people don't realise, but until about 6,000 years ago, 6 to 7,000 years ago, um, the current area of the Southern North Sea was actually dry land. It was inhabited by hunter-gatherers and uh, who roamed across pretty much the whole of the area between Yorkshire and Denmark. Um, however, of course, uh, uh, global warming, the end of the Ice Age, rising sea levels meant that this landscape was actually swallowed up by the, the, uh, by the sea over time and um, it was pretty much lost to knowledge. About six to seven years ago we started a project using oil data, data collected by the oil industry from seismics uh, actually, to start mapping this lost landscape and the results have actually been wonderful. Um, currently we've mapped rivers, hills, lakes, marshes over an area of about 23,000 square kilometres. That's an entirely new prehistoric country in fact um, and we're now starting to try and use that information to model where hunter-gatherers may have lived with the idea that we'll eventually go back to sea um, and use modern coring techniques to see if we can find traces of settlement. Uh, that's a first and we're, you know, we're, we're very excited that we've been able to carry out that sort of um, innovative exploration at Birmingham. Um, but we are uh, recognised as innovators within digital archaeology and remote sensing and this probably has been one of the most important and largest uh, projects of its kind in this country or indeed the world.